Inspiration from Emma Hardinge Britton Ghostlands In the peaceful retirement of home I became reconciled to my fate and the ministry of angels that I had hitherto failed to recognize. All my spiritual aspirations returned with a nearer and dearer sense of the sweet companionship which the spirits of beloved earthly friends alone can bring. How many times during my long nights of sickness, pain and weariness have I heard the light step of my angel wife running through the hall and stopping just as she used to do on earth when she meant to surprise me and stealing close, very close to me. Her ringing laugh sounded softly in my ears. Her golden tresses swept over my burning face and her tender tones once more whispered from heaven as they used to do on earth, words of love and consolation, ever ending by a promise of the rest in the higher life to which she had herself attained. Good and gracious Father of Spirits, with what deep ingratitude and pitiful self-denial do poor mortals reject thy messages of truth, comfort, and blessing, when they refuse to accept or scoff at the precious boon of spiritual communion? Had it not been for the power which bridged over the Lethian river that separated me from all that I had ever loved on earth, physical health might have resumed its sway but reason would have fled from its shattered throne within my mind for ever. One by one I had seen the fondest, truest, best of all that I had ever anchored my warmest affections upon, fall by my side, vanish from my sight, and leave me alone with a heart full of passionate impulses, veiled by the cold exterior of disciplined asceticism. I had been compelled to see every tie of affection snapped, every earthly hope shipwrecked. I had borne so much, and strained at the cords of mental energy so fearfully, that I know I must have become a raving lunatic if I had turned despairing glances to the land of the hereafter, and sought there in vain for my own goal of rest and reunion with my vanished loved ones. Looking through the eyes of my beloved ones, as they all returned to me one by one, each assuming his or her place in the bright procession with all the well-remembered tokens that could bring me the assurance there was no death, only change. I could see bright angels, higher still than the spirits of earth, and a deity over all upon whom I could lean my trembling soul. Once more the tides of spiritual life and force rolled in upon the storm-beaten shores of my destiny. Once more the grand and beneficent scheme of the ever-progressive universe was unrolled before me. I began again to recognize myself as the link between the lower 
and higher worlds at the same time that I learned the necessity of hedging in the aspiring intellect by the safe boundary lines of matter and mystery, lest the soul, penetrating too far into the arcanum of the illimitable beyond, should become lost and overwhelmed in the immensities of being too vast for finite minds to comprehend. In scaling those tremendous heights of knowledge, I have experienced many a fall and paid many a penalty. Again and again I have returned from the awful pilgrimages, wounded and bruised by the conflict of finite reason against infinite possibilities. But ever as I came I found rest, peace, instruction, and consolation in the loving ministration of earth's enfranchised spirits. I have learned that communion between the denizens of this planet and her spirit's fears is the highest, purest, and most elevating of the soul's faculties. Mortals have at present but an imperfect realization of this sublime truth amidst the folly fanaticism greed and imposture that have disgraced the movement of spiritism miscalled spiritualism a movement that has served to externalize much of the darkest features of human nature but as yet has been permitted to do little more than point to the unwrought mines of treasure that lay hidden beneath the possibilities of that communion. As yet, the movement is far too redolent of human shortcomings. Heaven speed the day of the unveiling, when it shall be recognized as the kingdom of heaven come upon earth.